he's live yet. There, there we, we go. go. All right. <sighs> okay. I think we did it. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had a real tech issue. And uh, <laughs> today it's turning out to be a doozy. So we're going to hang out here, wait for a few minutes, hope that we get people to come back and uh, join us for Sew Together Tuesday. So normally we do this little run through at the beginning, which we tried to do earlier and then we had a problem and then we had another problem. And now we're here. I see some see eyes coming, coming in. Yay! Thank you for coming back. Thank you. It is Sew Together Tuesday, textile. Um, <laughs> it's crazy today. So thanks for being here. I'm Teresa Coates. I'm the National Educator for Shannon Fabrics. And we are here for an extra, extra special Sew Together Tuesday today. Um, it will be a memorable one for sure. We are doing a special uh, behind the scenes with the Lone Pine movie. So today is June 1st. It's the day that the movie is released which is super exciting. We have a giveaway that we're going to do at the end with a couple of the fabrics that work with the, um, the one of the prints that are from the movie. We're going to talk a little bit about how the movie and the fabric sort of coalesce together in this project, which is pretty exciting. So remember to share the video. I know if you shared before, you'll get tagged in that one too. So thanks for doing that. Uh, share the video and we will choose a winner at the end so that we can, uh, give away a yard each of a couple of different fabrics that go with this. So um, I think that's all that I needed to share, right? right? I think that's it. Go. Just to share this, make sure that you share it. And um, thanks for being here. So today I want to introduce Jeremy Camp. So come on in, Jeremy. Jeremy is our company videographer. He's also a filmmaker. He does all sorts of things. And he is the brainchild behind the Lone Pine uh, Film. So we're just going to have a little chit chat, the two of us, and say hi, make sure your mic is working. Hello, can everybody hear me? <laughs> Since we did have some issues, we want to make sure everybody can hear. Do we have some thumbs up? You can hear? Okay, yes, all good, I see. So that's great. Thank you. So, um, yeah, so we want to talk about the film. We got the fabric. We want to do the trailer especially since yeah. you watched it and then it went away and now we're back again. So let's watch the trailer for it and, uh, and then we'll talk, okay? You gonna roll that, Michael? Three, two, one. We're gonna we're gonna chill just a little bit and talk about the movie. So um so what I want to know is um, so you saw the trailer, cute little film, ten minute film ish. Yeah, it's so about eight and a half film. minutes. Yeah, um, so it's a short film. Um and yeah, I kind of want to just know a little bit like behind the scenes. So how did this start? Um and who wrote the movie and all of that good stuff. How this happen? Yeah, so um, I think I, I mentioned the behind the scenes documentary mm -hmm. that I'd had an idea to connect like a film to product because with Netflix and Amazon, all these people um, constantly releasing movies, I wanted to kind of make something that catered to our audience. That's just right. that speaks to who we are. Right, and, right, because um, we're all so and we all kind of love fabric, and yeah. especially <laughs> when it's cuddle. So. Uh, exactly. So um, yeah, I, I was like, well, it'd be cool to write a film that's connected to our product mm -hmm. and um you know i i pitched it as almost as soon as i got the job i started working on I the think pitch that's, i think uh, that's true because you started what a year and a half two years ago yeah like yeah us? since january of right before right before the pandemic so yeah january and I, re 21. I remember talking to you about this i had this crazy idea and i was like mm -hmm. that is kind of crazy but we'll see what happens and, and look at yeah and then i worked with some amazing people to help write it so i wrote the first draft um okay. and then worked with my sister who's also the producer of the movie amy cool nice. um and i worked with some friends i want to make sure i get their names right angela durkin um i worked with james sunshine brielle frazier and it was just like kind of a collaborative effort of like okay here's the first draft or what do i need to work on here what do i need to work on here and um, we all kind of came together and wrote this script that i'm like so proud of and i i think 
everyone who seems it seems to really connect with a lot of the dialogue and a lot of the stuff we worked on. Very cool. Um, so yeah. one of the things that I noticed in the film is that there's lots of places where um, you'll see like the, um, you'll see blankets in it, you see toys, you see clothing, you see all these things that are made out of cuddles. So how did the process work between figuring out like, okay, I want to have this film and it's going to be this story. And then these are the things that we're going to need to have with it. Yeah. I wanted to make sure that we had a lot of like hidden gems for our customers. So like, you know, yes, the film is based on these three fabrics, but there's a lot of parts in the film that have like, oh, that's another fabric. Or that's yes, something they yes, made on yes. Sew Together Tuesday. Or, <laughs> exactly. You know, yep. so I wanted these little gems. <laughs> the um, nutty nag made an appearance. Yeah, so that's you right. You make your own nutty nag. It's in there. Yeah, I yeah. was very excited. <laughs> exactly. So, and then of course, you know, on top of all that, it has to be stuff that fits the story. So right, it was a matter right, of working right. with Laura Garcia, our in, in-house uh, props manager and education. She yep. just does everything. She's yeah. amazing. And um, it was working with her and she is just so creative on her own. Mm -hmm. So she comes up with ideas. Right. Oh, this would work yeah. great for this scene. Yeah. And oh, that's so, cool. that's yeah, cool. it, everything was such a team effort. I think, you know, it's an eight and a half minute film, but the credits are pretty long. Right. Like just the amount of collaboration <laughs> we had. Right. So that's that awesome. Fun. So the fabric that's in there, because when you when you watch it and oh, we didn't explain how do you get to watch this film? So we've been talking about it for a while on here in the, um, the beginning of each Sew Together Tuesday. And basically the way that it works is when you've bought the fabric, you'll get a little card or you should get a little card from the shop that you bought it from that will have the video. So if you've bought the fabric, you should have that URL and you can watch it today. If you haven't bought it yet, you just need to buy the fabric and then you can get that. Um, if you have bought it and you didn't get the little card. You can email me directly. Okay. Um, at jeremy at shannonfabrics.com. I will personally send you this movie. If you bought this fabric, anything I can do uh, to help you enjoy it, let me know. Yeah, it's a great little film. So I noticed like throughout, because I got the chance to watch it this morning. And so um, I really love, there's a whole bunch of blankets in there and things that I've you know seen and gotten to work on and stuff. But the thing that I was most curious, I think about is how the fabric, how did you choose the fabric? How did it get designed? Where are they, where did it come from? Yeah, our in-town, in-house design team has a lot of credit Very with cool. that. Um, you know, Julie um, and Diana, um, they worked, they saw the pitch, read mm -hmm. the script, and were like, look, the, we got these fabrics, I think that'll work. And they wanted to make sure the colors were just right. right. So, like, the blue matches the mineral in the movie. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it was just trying to capture, and I think what they really worked on was trying to capture the emotion of the film more so right. than like, okay, this needs to be exactly right. It's like right. the vibe of the movie, the story the movie tells. Right. That's what's in these. So fabrics. let's show the fabrics that we've got here. So we'll talk a little bit more about fabrics that I want that I'll show you too, that'll go with them really nicely, but we want to show you what the different fabrics are. So there are three different fabrics that come in the collection, and these are all our digital prints. So they are beautiful beautiful little prints here. Um, this one is called Tapestry, correct? Uh, yeah, Tapestry Snow. So this is Tapestry Snow. We have the other version of it here. Let me pull that out so you guys can see it. There's a black version. There we go. Okay, that has a black background and those colors just look so different when it's the white versus the black. So it gives you a totally different look and lets you play with it in a really, um, just a different way. And do you know what they're, they are the same colors. They kind of look like it. A lot of them are. I think the, different, I think the black is slightly different. Yeah. Slightly different, yeah. So like the blue is a little bit more turquoise in this one than it is. This is a little bit more denim -y. Yeah. They're super pretty. So that's one. That's the tapestry in snow and black. I'm assuming is the other one, the other name for it. Okay, and then there's this great one that's the horses. I'm going to flip this open for you. The other one's tapestry it? teal. So oh, tapestry yeah. teal. Yeah, oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thank you. Up. As usual, I know how to sew with the fabric, but I don't know the names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at this. So this one is Old West Natural, which has really lovely, um, like almost watercolor. Is that right, Hawk? You're yeah, the artist seems, here. It seems like watercolor. Kind of yeah. watercolory uh, images of the horses, cactus, the horseshoes, the lassos. Um, very Old West. It is very, very Old West. I really, I love this one. And like I said, we'll talk about fabrics that go with it in just a bit. And I just want to show you what the different fabrics are. And then this one is a like galloping horse one. Let's get this in a way that you can see it. Okay, and this one has um, all of the mountains that are sort of reminiscent of that mm -hmm. area. Yeah. Um, and Lone Pine is an actual work. town, mm -hmm. right? It's, yep. it's an actual, it's an actual place. It exists. Yep. 
And you told me the name of those hills, and I can't remember what you said they were. Um, there, there's well, there's two things that's big in uh, in Lone Pine. There's the Alabama Hills, which is kind of old magma that is um, this nice like brown texture, and then there is uh, Mount Whitney, which is the tallest point in North America. It's oh. right there. Um, and so that's contrast of like these real deserty hills with these like beautiful oh, scenic mountains. It's it. just, I mean, you'll see it in the movie. It's just hard to get a bad shot there. Right. I kind of <laughs> cheated with the cinematography because anywhere you kind of point the camera, it's, it, it's kind of beautiful. Got, yeah. it. <laughs> Got yeah. it. So I like that the way that you have a different feel for each of the fabrics. So this one is definitely reminds me of the mountains and the horses. And this is like the, the ranch area, mm -hmm. the cowboy that's in there. We won't give too much away because you really have to watch it. And then the tapestry, which is just the south sort of feeling so those three are part of the um the fabric that went into it so there was a whole lot of work that went into actually figuring out what fabrics we want to use and how to make these things and put it together and then you have local actors in the film is that yeah is? majority of the film um i would say about even so the main character is a young girl named alana in the movie her real name is riley who is just a prodigy that happens to live in lone pine <laughs> um, we did a casting call we wanted to keep it as local as possible. Mm -hmm. A film named Low Pine, I wanted it to be as local right, as we could. Right, that makes uh, sense. Yeah, so Riley was a local there, and then she just turns out to be an amazing actor or actress. And yeah. I mean, just there were moments where I was getting emotional watching her. It was, it was like one of the first times I've ever directed a film where I'm like, wait, I'm getting teary. Like, <laughs> I'm supposed to be directing, like, focus on, you know? And uh, she's just unbelievable. And then um, the other local was Tom, who's a cowboy. Who is right. kind of just the Lone Pine, the person? He's this. He makes a short appearance in the movie, but he always has like a lasting impression. Everybody's always like, "I love the cowboy. I love him." Yeah, yeah. And uh, he, it was his ranch we shot at too, so That's it, it awesome. was really a very like localized production. Um, Riley's mother is the one who provided us food for oh, lunch nice. and stuff, and she helped <laughs> us a ton. She did way more than provide food. She carried. She let us use her car to carry equipment. She helped oh, get us places. Cool. I think she was even letting me hang out the window of her car to get a shot, like the first shot of the movie. I'm like hanging out her window. What a wonderful project. So yeah. if I remember right, you have some sort of like a little behind the scenes interview with them that we can watch? Yeah. Can um, you watch that? Sure. Let's okay. go. Yeah, there's a behind wanna, the scenes interview. Do you want to do a little preface on what sure. it is that we're watching? Yeah. So these, this is with the two main actresses, uh, Kate Aviles and Riley Doyle. And uh, this was just, we did it this weekend, just to, now that they've seen the movie, to get their perspective right. of it. Oh, yeah, because yeah. they haven't seen it since they acted in it. Right. Oh, interesting. Right. Okay. So, Michael, if you want to roll that, we'll watch a little thing behind the scenes with the two actresses who are there. Okay. Let's see if we can get it to go. Maybe. Give it a shot. <laughs> Let's see if we can find it in there. Oh, I see what happened. We lost him for half Riley a second. Okay, Doyle so let's find it. Oh, there we go. Aviles, the two stars of the Lone Pine movie. Now they have seen the movie, and they, even after all the perils of shooting, still agree to talk to me. So I'm happy enough about that. So I, I wanted to kind of get their takes on the film and give you guys, the viewers, a behind-the-scenes look into the minds of the incredible talent that are these actors. And... I would say friends at this point. I hope Riley would consider me a friend at this point. Okay, all right, good. I, 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 we're in, we're in. One thing I noticed, you could go into a very serious zone very quickly. You would be like climbing rocks and like napping, and then we'd be like, okay, Riley, we need you to be really emotional, and you could just turn it off. You know, I've worked with professional actors who couldn't do that. Do you have a process for that, or is it just like a natural thing you can do? It was kind of just a natural thing, since it was like one of my first times doing this. I was like, okay, I need to be serious. We're on set. That sounds so like official when I'm really not. But like when we're on set, it's like, okay, it's time to be serious. You really have to like get in the headspace to do this. So. It was just kind of like, kind of natural because I was just like, okay, it isn't time to be goofy. There was one scene in particular, the scene at Haystack, where I looked at your grandmother and I was just like, like, what are we doing here? Like, she's just so talented. And then for you, Kate, one thing I was worried about with Fallon is I, you know, it is such a short film. I didn't want the mom to be a prop. I, I wanted this to be a story that a mom and daughter could walk, watch together and get almost two different stories out of it. Son or daughter sees like a story about a fun vacation and a mom 
see the story a little bit deeper than that. But in doing that, like you said, it is a lot of vignettes with not a lot of dialogue. So, so much of your character had to be kind of in the eyes and the subtleties of it. Was there a way you kind of prepared for that? Was What was kind of your process with that? Well, first of all, when I watched the film, I realized that I was cheating genetically because I kind of had very sad eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They're just on my face. I'm like, cool, all right, <laughs> excellent. That's good to know. But part of my process was I was constantly repeating these thoughts in my head of what I thought that like Fallon would be going through because like the, I'm assuming the love of her life just died. Somebody that she shared a house with, a bed with, her partner, and now he's just gone. So being able to get in that headspace and remind myself as Fallon that this is what I'm going through made it pretty easy for me to reflect that on my face and to just kind of live it while the camera was rolling. Yeah, well, I will say you're giving a little bit more credit to your eyes than I think I deserve. <laughs> Um, we specifically added that last scene. There's a last scene in the movie where it's just you. And we mm -hmm. specifically added that when I was working with you and we were doing rehearsals. I was like, we need to show this. Like, we need to show the depth that Kate is taking this role. To me, it's one of my favorite scenes in the movie. And I think you played that so well of like, what it takes to be a mom. When we mm -hmm. first showed it to, the, to like a group at work who are moms, they connected with that scene in particular so much. I want to thank both of you guys for coming. I, I'm glad you enjoy the film. Riley, I'm still not convinced if you didn't like it that you would tell me, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll just live in that. Is there anything you guys wanted to say or, or anything you wanted to give? We'll start with you, Riley, and then we'll go to Kate. The blankets are actually very comfortable. I have mine right here. It's not from the actual film, but it's still really soft after all this time, even after washing it. And I just love it because it has so many memories attached to it. And it's just great. Riley, you are more of a professional than any of us. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, what about you, Kate? I had a really fun time working on this film. And I know that is in part to Jeremy, but also in part to the fabric company that he works for. And I've been to the office. I've been into his office specifically. And I've seen the color swatches. If you're looking for fabric, Shannon Fabrics is definitely the way to go. And you get a film with a fabric purchase. And you get the film with the fabric purchase. With and it's with me and we're the best actors in Lone Pine. <laughs> That's right. Starring these two amazing women who did an absolute <laughs> dream of a job. I think I said this when we wrapped up, but I'll say it again here. You know, this was my first like kind of professionally funded movie. And man, did I luck out having you two. I mean, just the absolute best most professional but still fun to hang out with which is a hard combination and then just absolute killers on the screen so i want to thank you guys for coming if you want to see the lone pie movie starring these two amazing human beings be sure to purchase digital cuddle tapestry digital cuddle wild horse basil and digital cuddle old west the every purchase of that fabric will get you the movie and if you have purchased the fabric and you did not get the movie email me directly at Jeremy at Shannon Fabric, and I will personally send you a link to the film. So thank you guys for coming, and I will see you, both of you, I'm sure at some point. At <laughs> some point soon. <laughs>
was shot on a the camera we have at work. So the same nice. things we do the product videos on, <laughs> uh, we shot this movie on. So, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. There was something else I was going to ask you. Animation. Oh, the animation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, there's little animations in it. And you saw that in the uh, the little trailer that played earlier. I think there was a little bit of animation in that. And that's kind of throughout the film. Mm -hmm. So that was done. So tell me what was the, the, uh, the purpose of the animation? And then sure. who did that? Um, so the purpose of the animation was, one, I wanted to create a film that a mom, a dad, and the children could sit down and watch. So we wanted to, you know, kind of create an atmosphere where bright colors and kids would, would find just as much enjoyment as, as parents. Um, also, it was kind of a cheat. Um, instead of having to cast somebody and find somebody who looks like a younger Riley, anytime we had a younger Riley, we just animated her. Uh, so it was a little bit of a cheat, but I think it added to the film a lot. It totally works. Um, yeah. Big shout out to my friend Robert Mendolia. Nice. I think I said that correct, who did all the animation and just absolutely killed it. They're yeah. really, it's, yeah, it's really lovely. The film is great. So like I said before, all you have to do is buy some of the fabric and then you get access to the film, which is super great. There's a ton of more information that is on our, um, the blog, I think is where it's at. It's on our website. Um, there's a behind the scenes Lone Pine page where you can get some more information and you can, I think you'll be able to see that, um, the interview with the actors. Um, eventually mm -hmm. that'll get uploaded and there's a whole behind the scenes um, documentary that we've um, put there that you can find on our Facebook page as well as that um, blog page. So you can go ahead and go get more information. You can find the, the fabrics on our website, of course, um, and all of the examples of the beautiful stuff that's been made. So the fabric is really, like I said, it's fabulous fabric. It's done with the um, the digital cuddle. So it's printed on here. It's the, the colors that like I said are vibrant. They're lovely. And I just wanted to show you a few different color combinations that I had. So this morning, that was one of the things that we did is we just kind of moved around the studio. We're like, okay, what goes with this? And what goes with that? So I did one already that is this fabric. And I'm not going to show you that because we're going to show it on a future Sew Together Tuesday. But it's with the tapestry fabric and this one, which is the gorgeous ginger. So ginger is awesome with this. Okay. Ginger looks absolutely beautiful. So this would be a great... Uh, a throw, a blanket, mixing fabrics together. I think this is probably ink is what this is. I just realized that. I think that dark color is ink and I don't think I have any more of that, um, which is a lovely dark, dark blue, black color. Um, and then there's this pretty blue. So the blue is actually, I think goes really nicely with the denim. So I just have a tiny scrap because I have a big piece I need to use for another project, but I feel like the denim um, goes really nicely with this as well. This is in the shearling. So I feel like the denim color, we also have that in C3 and a bunch of other fabrics. So ginger fabric goes really well. Denim fabric goes really well. That would be with the C3 or with any of these Lux cuddles as well. Um, then I had this one that I wanted to show you. So this one here is with the horse. So let's, let's put these here actually so you can see how pretty those are. Okay, and then we'll get this one. So these two kind of go a little bit together. And I saw it. This one looks really nice. This with the horses. I think that's really lovely together. What is that? That is Whistler. And I don't remember which color it is, but it is Whistler. And uh, Lux Cuddle Whistler. And we also have another Lux Cuddle that, that is a Whistler that's a different color. And I think this is Mallard. And it actually goes with this too, in that other places it has a little bit more of the blue green color. So it's kind of interesting how it'll pick up different things depending on what you wanted it to be more like. Just pick the fabric because those greens, there's a lot of variety of greens. I was thinking this actually this green Milan that I have back here it would probably oh, go yeah. to. Look at that. Oh, nice. It would totally go together. So see, you could just mix it up with all sorts of different fabrics, which is great. So it has all of these different color variations. The other one that I think would be nice, so in here, this one goes with this as well. And this was, which one is this? This is Old West. This is Old West. Yeah. So this one I like a lot. And this, um, these cactuses have that kind of greenish color. And this has kind of that denim color again. Okay. And then, so that works with this Whistler. And I think that it works really nice with this one. I can't remember what that one is called. Maybe Ellen remembers. It's just been in my stash for a long time. It's the perfect uh, teddy bear fabric in my opinion. <laughs> so it's sitting there waiting for me to make a teddy bear. Okay. So I think there's a whole big variety of fabrics that you can choose from. Obviously, there's a lot of different browns. So kind of just depends on which style of um, which colors you like best, what will go with best with what you want to make it for. So this fabric is great for all sorts of throws. Obviously, the quilts that were in there, um, 
You could do it for um, pillows, whatever you want to do. It's super, super lovely fabric. And this is available now in quilt shops. So it's been selling to quilt shops for a little while. So you should be able to find it. Tell us again the names. Um, this is D uh, Digital Cuddle Tapestry Snow, Wild Horse Basil, and Old West. Okay, so those are the three different kinds of fabric. And then we have the tapestry as well in the black background. Old West Natural, sorry. Old West Natural. Okay. <laughs> Always missed that last one. But see, you got it better than I did. I'm like, this is the horses. <laughs> and the other horses. <laughs> this is and the they're, horseshoe. And they're perfect to make blankets and cuddle up and watch a movie. Yeah, so, totally. I'm totally. not going to say which movie you need to watch, but... But it might, you know... It might be the Lone Pine. Sounds sort of like Lone Pine. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great little film. We're very excited about it. Thanks so much for doing this. Thank Thanks you for, for having me. Hanging out in my studio today and talking about Lone Pine. We're really excited about it. Um, we want to congratulate Jessica Z. She is the winner today. So, Jessica, this is the fabric I was going to send you. Is this... Because this one is... I believe this one is mine. I'm going to have to make sure. We've got other fabrics hanging out. So, um, yeah, this fabric and this fabric. So I was going to send these to you. So Jessica, get a hold of me. We'll send you some fabric. It'll be really lovely. You can make yourself a little blanket. Um, if I remember right, you've got horses, so this will be perfect. Um, Jessica has been a long time viewer uh, for Sew Together Tuesday. So I've been in a couple of my classes. So I'm excited. So thank you so much for uh, for joining us today. I want to remind you that we are heading out. Hawk and I are heading out onto the road in six weeks now, we are hitting the road for Sew Together Tuesday, and we are taking the summer and early fall and just going everywhere, it feels like, except, you know, some places then people want us to come there. So if you, we are not coming to a place that you want, please tell your local quilt shop to bring us next time. And uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and these are all the places that we're going to be going to. So we're starting, uh, we are starting in six weeks up at Cali Quilt Co in Northern California, and then we are heading east and gonna spend a whole bunch of time in the Midwest. So all of those shops are the places that we're going for the Sew Together Tuesdays. We have some more shops that we're gonna be visiting and uh, teaching classes at, so I'm teaching classes all over. And uh, you can find that information on our blog. So if you go to shannonfabrics.com slash blog, you'll find a post that is all about where we're gonna go for Sew Together Tuesday and what we're gonna be teaching where, and I can't wait to see you out there. We are gonna have a ball. So that's coming up in six weeks, and uh, we'll be back next week. Trying to remember what we're doing next. Oh, next week we're doing a super cool one. We are doing a comparison of sewing cuddle with various sewing machines. So we're basically going to bring up all the sewing machines I have, and we're going to sew on all of them. So if you've been wondering how you could make your machine that isn't a fancy machine work better on cuddle, we're going to talk a little bit about that, which machines work uh, better for different projects. So uh, we'll have a whole bunch of stuff. We'll be doing that. And... Uh, until then, happy sewing. Nice.